Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about what is data frame in Python. So uh, before getting into this topic, so data frame is a functionality that is that exists in Python under a library called pandas. So we need to know what is pandas then. So I have a separate theoretical video for what is panda. So in the description box of the video, you can able to see the panda playlist link. If you click that, you can able to see all panda related videos in which you can see what is panda. So once you get into that, so you will be able to understand better uh, this video. So if you have that actually, so please go ahead with that video and then please come to this. Okay, so first of all, uh, what is data frame and data frame so if you split this you have the meaning right data frame you are framing the data so data frame is a uh, is a is a library is a functionality that gives a row column that is two dimensional view for the data right so you can read the data from a file or from a database or even you can pass a list to your data frame and then you can convert it so that you will be getting a data in a row and column format so with that you can do so data frame provides you lot of inbuilt functions for data analysis so data analysis functions are there a lot you have so we used to convert it to data frames and then we make use of all those uh, data analytical functions and then we export the data in a in a different representations actually so uh, uh, without this data frame also you can able to achieve what you are what you want to do a processing and you can able to achieve without data frame also but that is something like a tedious process you will you have to write a lot of number of lines of code will be get increased so the brevity of the code will be get loose so data frame provides you a lot of inbuilt functions which helps you to minimize your lines of coding and data frames have the capacity to process the data in the memory and you can ask me the question then how about the handling large volume of data so uh, uh, your data frame make use of the memory what exists in this particular node if you are a python data frame the pandas is executed on a distributed data set in the distributed environment then it will make use of each of the machines uh, the nodes memory but that is something and uh, uh, it's a wide topic as of now i don't want to get deep into it but i have a separate video so i'll be uploading in future but you can go to my playlist and check if the video exists you can watch it or else please wait i will be uploading that video as well so here data frames are very familiar in python and r language and uh, based on this so many other data related frameworks also uh, includes these data frame functionality that gives you the very uh, good uh, i mean as i told you already it, it has a lot of inbuilt function the syntax will be very easy and uh, it's in doing an in-memory processing and your data representation is in 2d so a lot of advantages are there okay so here in this video i'm going to explain you how to create a data frame that's it so here i created a custom list but this list can be a file you read the data from a file or a db is also fine and then i'm just converting to a data frame and here here the magic comes so you have this pd okay so you have to import the panda library as i told you data frame comes under panda so a df equal to pd dot data frame you are passing your list and this can be any python object it can be means uh, when i say any python object so it, it not only be a list it can can be a file or db as well uh, so if database connect to a mysql or oracle retrieve the uh, means get the table name and then pass it to your data frame function and then that will be converted as a data frame so when i do print you can able to see the row column view and here the default column name is zero but you can create named column as well so that is also possible but i will run this code first okay yeah so you got the output so if you want to create a named column so then you can do in this way so I'm, I'm creating the column name as name uh, and then I'm just closing the bracket. So not only one column by comma separated, you can have n number of columns and, the, and, and as a list. OK, so now if I run this, OK, so you can see the name and you can use this column name to fetch this particular column also going forward. I'm, I will be uploading a lot of Python uh, data frame videos. So in which we can able to discuss that. So not not in this video. So the video agenda is just to explain you what is data frame and the kickstarting. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com. If you really like this video, subscribe my channel, forward this to your friends and colleagues. And we do a lot of tech videos and not only Python, we have so many other technology videos as well. We do lang uh, videos in two languages english and tamil and i have given my instagram url and the linkedin url in the description box please follow us and uh, and please subscribe my channel forward this to your friends and colleagues once again so thanks for watching a2z knowledge.com